a significant amount of the resources, of course, came from the municipal bond, which itself is a successful initiative because it's an opportunity to show that municipal government really can inspire trust and confidence. And one of the good things with the municipal bond is that it has been designed, provided that we maintain the sinking fund payments. It's actually designed to be refloated every two, five, and 10 years so that municipalities in the future, long when I leave office, can do municipal projects at intervals of two, five, and 10 years because the capital resources will be there. I will also say that we have been able to stabilize the finances to the point where we have paid off a significant amount of debt. The city council is free of an overdraft. I remember when I was, uh, took office the first week, the first thing that they indicated to me was that the city council has a $2 million overdraft, and we always keep that at, uh, right at the $2 million level. So it never did help the municipality. And when we did the municipal bond, the first check that we wrote was to pay off that overdraft to the point where I've led the city for six years and we've never had an overdraft. A businessman will appreciate that reality. And we have managed the transition from BML so that the city council staff has actually doubled. And we've never had a situation where we have missed any salary payments. We've never had a situation where we've defaulted on any loans. We're still paying off a substantial amount of judgment debts from Zenaida's uh, term in office. But we have not incurred any significant debt in this current period aside from the municipal bond.